हेलो एवरी वन एंड गुड मॉर्निंग दिस इज डॉक्टर सुदर्शन संभाजीराव पेड़गे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जुआलॉजी कैला सोशी रसिका महाविद्यालय देवणी युअर जुआलॉजी कंपेनियन एंड वेलकम टू माय लेक्चर इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी ऑल्सो कंप्लीटेड द इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट ऑफ कार्बोहाइड्रेट मेटाबॉलिजम एज वेल एज द one important process or one important cycle we have studied that is called the glycolysis after that today we will focus on another topic of our syllabus that is glycogenesis glycogenolysis and glyconeogenesis so let's get started today's lecture first is the glycogenesis in the glycogenesis glyco means glycogen and genesis means formation okay in that process that is the one particular organ in our body it will be the genesis that is called as the liver is a one particular organ that all cells of animal body are capable of storing glycogen but mammalian liver and muscles can store glycogen up to 15 to 20% of their weight okay as compared to the uh, other cells okay it means the glycogen storing organ is the liver as well as muscle cells okay and that liver glycogen glycogenesis is an anabolic polymerization of glucose into glycogen okay you have seen here the glucose is first phosphorylated in the presence of enzyme glucokinase right and magnesium ion forming glucose 6 phosphate okay right after that then glucose 1 phosphate by phosphoglucomutase okay you have seen here the phosphoglucomutase enzyme form form glucose 1 phosphate right and next into the uridine diphosphate glucose right with the help of phosphorylase enzyme right and then finally enzyme glycogen synthetase changes it into glycogen okay it means the glucogen is converted into the glycogen and it means the large amount of glucose we have taken in our the time of um, feeding that time some glucose it will be stored in the form of glycogen and where it where it store there is a one particular place that place is called the liver as well as the muscle cells okay it means the glucose is conversion into the glycogen and storing in the liver as well as muscle cells okay that total process is called as glycogenesis okay next process is the glycogenolysis in that process the process of breakdown of glycogen is called glycogenolysis okay glyco means glycogen and lysis means the to break down okay it means the glycogen it is completely break down into the glucose that is called the glycogenolysis process okay in the blood sugar level falls when it will be occur in the glycogenesis and glycogenolysis at the time of blood sugar level falls glycogen stored in the tissue especially glycogen of kidney okay liver and muscles may be break down okay at the time of blood sugar level it will be the falls down okay that time glycogen stored in the tissue as well as 
in the kidney and liver and muscles also that similar time it will be breakdown okay that is the that is the one particular process that the that process is called glycogenesis at that time glycogen may be broken down to glucose in liver and kidney or it may be broken down to glucose 6 phosphate in the muscles okay so there are three types we have seen here or there are three three steps we have seen in the we have seen here the glycogenolysis process in that the first step in the breakdown of glycogen is catalyzed by two enzymes you have seen here is act independently right the first enzyme namely glycogen phosphorylase in organic phosphate catalyzes the cleavage of terminal alpha 14 bond of glycogen to produce glycogen with glucose molecule okay you have seen next slide that is the one particular glycogen phosphorylase it will be the cleavage of terminal alpha 14 bond of glycogen to produce glycogen with one glucose molecule less than okay that is the n minus 1 right glycogen n minus 1 it is the one glucose molecule is less okay the removal of glucose residue as a glucose 1 phosphate okay the removal of glucose residue as a glucose 1 phosphate continues until about 4 glucose residues remain okay so that is the one particular glucose 1 phosphate it will be the form okay another ne another next second step in that second step you have seen here the glucose 1 phosphate is then reversibly converted to glucose okay you have seen here uh, the glucose 1 phosphate is then reversibly converted to glucose 6 phosphate by the action of enzyme phosphoglucomutase okay you have seen here that, is, that reaction is the reversible reaction okay and it will be the form in the glucose 6 phosphate right that is the one particular second uh, step of this uh, glyco uh, genolysis okay another third step the next reaction you have seen here namely the conversion of 6 phosphate to glucose right 6 phosphate to the glucose right takes place in the liver and kidney by the action of enzyme glucose 6 phosphatase right this enzyme removes phosphate of glucose 6 phosphate and enabling the free glucose to diffuse from the cells okay that is the one particular formation of glucose and such type of process it will be formed with the help uh, at the type of sugar levels is falls down that time glycogen is converted into the glucose okay third uh, process that is the gluconeogenesis question may arise what is meant by the gluconeogenesis okay the synthesis of glucose from non carbohydrate precursor is known as gluconeogenesis okay it means the at the time of formation of glucose with the help of non carbohydrate precursor and that total process is called as gluconeogenesis okay <coughs> after the mechanism involved in the gluconeogenesis is the reversible of citric acid cycle and glycolysis we know very well the glycolysis process in the glycolysis process we have seen that the glucose is converted to the pyruvic acid okay this is the one uh, that process is called as glycolysis but in that the pyruvic acid is converted into the glucose that is a reversible process of glycolysis that process is called as gluconeogenesis okay so where does 
gluconeogenesis occur the major site of gluconeogenesis is the liver okay and kidney also okay why because it is only about one tenth of that form in the liver because of its smaller mass okay so the brain and skeletal muscles have a high demand for glucose very little gluconeogenesis takes place in the brain okay and skeletal muscles and heart muscles also okay gluconeogenesis by liver and kidney serves to maintain the glucose level in the blood okay so that the brain and muscles can extract sufficient glucose to their metabolic demand okay it it will be the occur generally in the liver as well as kidney okay when does gluconeogenesis occur at the time of carbohydrate in the diet is insufficient carbohydrate in the diet that time gluconeogenesis it will be occur okay the intake of protein second is that the intake of protein rich diet resulting in the absorption of large amount of amino acid for example animals such as carnivorous animals which completely lie or which completely do, uh, depend on high protein diet okay so that time gluconeogenesis it will be the occur okay another next the at the time of starvation okay when the tissue proteins are broken down to amino acid that time gluconeogenesis it will be the occur okay and last is the fourth in the during heavy muscular work the large amount of lactic acid is produced by glycolysis that time gluconeogenesis it will be the occur okay that is the one particular four uh categories at the time gluconeogenesis process it will be the occur first is the at the time of insufficient amount of or even insufficient carbohydrate in the diet that time gluconeogenesis it will be occur and the next is the intake of protein rich diet right large amount of amino acids that time gluconeogenesis start or occur okay now next third is the at the time of starvation upasmar that time is the gluconeogenesis it will be the occur and number fourth is the heavy muscular work it will be the occur that time gluconeogenesis it will be the okay it means the synthesis of glucose from non carbohydrate precursor is known as gluconeogenesis okay that is complete process is called the gluconeogenesis okay so